Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2013 Ford Focus ST. As you can see, this one is a very nicely loaded ST3 model. Outside, this one is finished off in a race red exterior, which really just pops on this vehicle. It's a very nice and unique color. As you can see on the ST, you do get these very nice unique wheels, as well as your spoiler along the back and your dual tipped exhaust in the middle. Just a very, very European inspired design on this car. Along the back, you do have your Focus and your ST badge. As you can see on this one, it is kind of a uh, carbon fiber finish. This one is riding on Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, which are in excellent condition. As you can see, they are do 35, 45, R18s. So you do have your 18 inch alloy wheels with rear disc brakes, of course. And as you can see, it's just such a great looking vehicle. Do have your antenna up there, as well as right here. Do have your sunroof. And up front, this one does have the projector HID lights with your LED accents up top and fog lights down below. So we'll go ahead, step inside, start this one up. It does have intelligent key access, as well as keyless entry on here. But coming up to the door, as I mentioned, does have intelligent key access. All I have to do to unlock, place your hand behind the handle. And to lock, just touch right here. And I know I've said it before in other videos, but Ford has one of the most responsive intelligent key entry systems. It just always works. I've never been up to one where you have to touch it more than once. Just wait a second. It will unlock again. Inside, this one does have the premium black leather interior with your Recaro bucket seats. That's not obnoxious. Your ST door sills down here as well. So we'll go ahead, start this one up. All I have to do, have the key fob inside of the vehicle, put on the brake and clutch, and press right here to start. This car is a beautiful sound. Inside, as you can see, you do have a leather app steering wheel inside of this one with very nice and light power assisted steering. Down here, you do have your ST badge, and it is leather wrapped with your sport grips along the sides. You do have your controls for the middle display right there, which I'll go through in a second. Cruise control, voice commands, and Bluetooth, as well as your audio system controls. Along the door, in this ST3 model, you do have a very nice soft touch upper door panel. Chrome door handle right here, and your cloth padded armrest. As well as all four windows are power, our mirrors, power locks, all of that. You do have the little chrome lips on them as well. In the middle, you do have your lock and unlock for the vehicle as well as your hazards. Along the dash, it's all nice soft touch material. Down here, you do have your headlight controls. They are automatic as well, as well as your fog lights and your gauge dimmer, trunk release, uh, hood releases down there. In the center, you can see your tachometer, speedometer, your uh, engine temperature and fuel in the middle. And as I mentioned, you can scroll through here, all of that. Another thing is this little car on the display will show you when the headlights are on and off, if you have a light, brake light, anything like that out, it will show you which doors are open and everything like that. Coming along the center, this one is equipped with the Sony premium audio system and my four touch. As you can see, do you have your phone controls? Sync on your device, then enter the passkey provided by Sync. All right. Do you have your phone controls up there? This one is equipped with navigation right here. Down here, do you have your climate controls? as well as uh, heated seats are down here, but all of that can be controlled. Do have radio right here. As I mentioned, does have the premium Sony audio system. Sirius uh, satellite radio as well. CD, USB, all of that. Worldwide. Um, as I mentioned, your CD, USB, everything. And you can just go back to the home screen on this one, which it does have the uh, ST background. Down here, you do have dual zone automatic climate control for the driver and passenger. You do have some more storage, uh, your ESC on and off, passenger airbag, all of that. Right here, this one is equipped with the only transmission available for the ST, a six speed manual transmission. Which it's actually, it's such a smooth, nice, responsive gearbox. Pull up, over for reverse. And one thing I have to say about this vehicle is I have driven multiple of the regular focuses with the manual transmission and the clutch is just awful. It's vague, it's rubbery, 
it's springy and just has no feel. The clutch in the ST is nothing like that. It's nice and responsive. It grabs perfect. It should, this is a great gearbox and clutch setup in this vehicle. It is so much fun to drive. Down here, you do have your heated seats for the driver and passenger. 12 volt outlet, as I mentioned, e-brake. Two cup holders right there. Some storage. As well as inside of there, you do have your USB, auxiliary, uh, AVN, all of that for your Sony premium audio system. Up here, you have sunglasses container, as well as your interior lighting controls, ambient lighting controls, sunroof controls right here. They are one touch automatic. This one is equipped with a sunroof, obviously. And when you do have a model with the sunroof, your interior LED lighting is moved over to the side. Manually dimming rearview mirror. So we'll go ahead, make sure all the doors are unlocked right here. Put the automatic driver side window down and release the hood. Stepping into the back seat of the ST, just because you get the performance model does not mean you sacrifice in comfort or space at all. As you can see on the door, Everything fits together pretty well. You do have some cloth on the rear and your chrome door handle, as well as some storage down there. And one thing I've always liked about the Focus is it does include these two little storage compartments on the side of the back seat. So we'll go ahead and step in. Now this seat is back a little bit further than I would drive, but still sitting back here, I'm 6'2". I have plenty of headroom. My legs still don't even touch the seat. In the middle, do have a 12 volt outlet. So it's right here. Do have two cup holders as well as uh, it is very nice soft padded and the leather does follow through in the rear same as the recaro seats up front do have tweeters in the door as well for your premium audio system and your lighting controls back here go ahead and pop the trunk lid and as you can see this one does include the cover, which will lift up. And you do have a very nice amount of space in the Focus hatchback. This one does have the uh, subwoofer for your Sony premium audio system. It takes up a little bit of space, but not nearly as bad as some other cars. And it sounds excellent. You do also have a full-size Connie Pro Contact tire and uh, spare tire. And this one, so no donut or anything. And your storage on the side. Just a very, very fun little car. I've always been a fan of hatchbacks that go fast like this. You can see the back seat on this side. Do get the same storage compartments as well as on the door. And up front, you do have a manual passenger seat. Driver's side is power. And inside of here, you have all the owner's literature, everything like that right there. And coming up front, you can see your uh, projector HID headlights with your LED accenting up above. And up underneath of here, this vehicle is equipped with Ford's 2-liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine. Produces a very nice amount of power and a very nice sound as well in this vehicle. So we'll go ahead, step back inside of this one. Give it a rev.
Go ahead, put the driver's side automatic window back up. And go ahead, drop the vehicle off right there. Make sure you remove the key. And put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.